Hello there guys, welcome to Survivor Russia. So this is kind of uh, the part two of the poncho shelter video, right? Because we are at the same location, and it's, it's, it's the same day, Sunday, <laughs> the 10th of December, I hope it is. I think it is, it is. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, to to make a second video just sitting and talking to you a little bit uh, about this and that, what's going on at the homestead, what the plans are for for the near future and all that good stuff because sometimes it's difficult to uh, to put sort of like information in that you guys are asking on uh, within the videos itself so I don't know this is a good um, opportunity to to, uh, to try and do that because uh, I have some plans for, for going out for example for, for doing some um, multiple overnighter stuff and this and that but uh, I don't know when I have time, maybe during the week or something like this, because the white Nissan, our bread and butter vehicle here, have finally been fixed. It costed me a good amount of money to have it transported from the homestead, almost 300 kilometers to the nearest big city. It was uh, an error on the alarm system and then a return tube from the from from the uh, injector system, so to speak. You know what I mean, most likely. Uh, so uh, yeah, I have to go and pick that up on uh, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. And uh, also another thing is when you know when it's uh, it's funny to live in in, uh, in nature kind of uh, a thing here, right? <laughs> um, because the spring was uh, very very wet. The summer was very very wet. And uh, that meant that uh, the loggers could not get uh, into the forest and uh, harvest firewood, not in uh, efficient amounts anyway. And that has con consequences now, <laughs> because uh, I'm actually chopping firewood at the homestead now, because we just got some uh, like five cubic meters of, uh, of dry firewood, because you can make the loggers go to the forest here and they will pick the dead standing trees and so on as well while they're working. So uh, that's pretty awesome. But uh, it's a little bit weird to work with firewood in December. That's normally something you do uh, much, much earlier, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Also, I doubt that I'll be able to make any tea here because uh, it's gonna take too long before this fire here is, uh, has any reasonable size. And as you most likely can see, it's getting dark soon. And I have to get out before it gets too dark. So yeah, the Nissan has finally been fixed. And uh, speaking about cars, we of course have the little uh, Survival Russia vehicle. It was uh, unfortunately a little bit uh, late in the season then it then I got it done and so on. And uh, one reason I have not been out in it yet for real real is uh, that I'm almost always alone, right? And uh, I do not have a winch. I am uh, saving money up for a winch. And uh, I don't know, maybe I will even uh, try to begin with to get a hand winch. I know many say it's, uh, it's, it's not really that useful for, for a car and so on, but you have to remember this uh, vehicle is very light, 850 kilos or something like this. So uh, I think, uh, a four ton uh, hand winch could be useful because uh, at least I can uh, attach it front and rear, right? <laughs> um, so I don't know, maybe also there's gonna be too much snow actually. But but we can go on some trips on the logging roads, but uh, I think there's already too much snow on the, on the real off-road country. But uh, yeah, maybe we can make it to the hunting cabin or something like this. Also Sergei, he has his uh, bought a new, a brand new snowmobile, a Russian-made one called Buran. It's awesome. Uh, it's not fast, fast. It's like 70 kilometers an hour, but uh, it's really powerful. It has two tracks instead of one, and so on. It's like uh, it's a real tough working vehicle. Most likely, we're gonna get out and uh, and get it done in that one as well. 
So yeah, basically, basically, I just want to to say thank you to all you guys, especially thanks to Nate who who uh, donated a lot of stuff to the channel. That was pretty awesome. And this sling here is pretty awesome. I was a little bit, uh, I was a little bit, what you can say, uh, concerned that it would not fit this uh, folding stock here, but it fits perfectly and it doesn't move one millimeter. It's, uh, it's really, really well made, and this is just super heavy duty. I'm really, really happy about this guy here. Yeah, basically, I just wanted to say that I, yeah, I'm gonna head out into the forest and hopefully start the forest season here, the winter camping season and uh, all that good stuff, you know. But there are some f things I have to do first. I'm gonna go and pick up the vehicle, and I'm gonna get the firewood done. So uh, yeah, that's how it is. So I don't know guys, I think I just uh, have to head home and I uh, just wanted to say hello, you know, outside uh, all the video, other video stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the poncho back in the rock and uh, just get on home. So guys, please check the links in the description and uh, please uh, consider supporting the channel and uh, subscribe, and subscribe, so bell, sub like and all that good stuff. Until next time, get out of the train, get it done, do something awesome. Thank you for your time, thank you for your support, and see you in the next video, guys.